get ready for the dictation start it is constantly held and accepted that strict rules of evidence are not applicable to the proceedings before the labor court oblique tribunal but essentially the rules of natural justice are to be observed in such proceedings labor courts oblique tribunals have the power to call for any evidence at any stage of the proceedings if the facts and circumstances of the case demand the same to meet the ends of justice in a given situation we reiterate that in order to avoid unnecessary delay and multiplicity of proceedings the management has to seek leave of the court oblique tribunal in the written statement itself to lead additional evidence to support its action in the alternative and without prejudice to its rights and contentions but this should not be understood as placing fetters on the powers of the court oblique tribunal requiring or directing parties to lead additional evidence including production of documents at any stage of the proceedings before they are concluded if on facts and circumstances of the case it is deemed just and necessary in the interest of justice learned counsel for the petitioner submitted that the supreme court in 2005 to scc 684 divyansh pandit versus management ncc bm had held that the petitioner should have been allowed the opportunity to lead evidence to support its domestic inquiry after holding whether the respondent number 3 was a workman still further learned counsel for the petitioner relied upon 2018 18 scc 21 ml singla versus punjab national bank and another and submitted that in the interest of justice at any point of time both the employer and the employee could raise any question which went to the root of the matter he submitted that before the case was concluded parties could always adduce such evidence which could have bearing on the decision of the case in the instant case therefore learned counsel for the petitioner submitted that when after the labor court had decided as to whether the respondent number 3 was a workman it ought to have allowed the parties to lead further evidence as to whether the domestic inquiry was properly conducted or not and therefore he submits that since there was no opportunity granted to the petitioner to lead evidence as to whether the domestic inquiry was properly conducted the award deserves to be set aside learned counsel appearing for respondent number 3 has submitted his written arguments and made the following submissions learned counsel for the respondent number 3 submitted that it was open for the labor court to have given its decision on merits after having found that the respondent number 3 was a workman learned counsel relying upon rule 18 19 25 30 and 32 of the industrial tribunal and labor courts rules of procedure 1967 submitted that rules 18 and 19 had provided the stage when the issues could be framed and when documents could be filed he however submitted that the framing of issues was not essential for the labor court and only as per the law laid down in 1978 labor and industrial cases 1667 hindustan teen works versus its employees additional issues could be framed since learned counsel for the respondent number 3 had heavily relied upon rules 18 19 25 30 and 32 of the 1967 rules the same are being reproduced here as under
issues after the written statements and rejoinders if any of both the parties are filed and after examination of parties if any the industrial tribunal or labor court may frame such other issues if any as may arise from the pleadings stop